like you never left BDA and Platinum End, man. It came out of nowhere, all right? It just came out of nowhere, and if you've seen Boomerang, it was nipple, because I was drooling, I just say that. It was a good chapter, and I'm really enjoying it. Now, Mirai, he's struggling with this new power because this angel, Nasi, she's kind of delusional with how she views humans. And Mirai is like, yo, I want to do things the right way. I'm, I'm only staying in this hotel because of this arrow. Like, this is crazy. I'm not used to this. Nasi's like, what's the problem? Like, okay, just kill this person or just kill your family if you need money. Like, you can do whatever you want. That's making you happy, right? It's like she doesn't understand how humans operate. She's kind of like like, like a mindless, like a, like a child. Like, she's just, she just wants everything everything to kind of fall into place and she believes the way she thinks is how Mariah is thinking but that's, that's definitely not the case. Another thing is the abusing of this arrow and this power. You see this guy, he basically he starts dating five top models at the same time and he's using the arrow you know for you know sexual preferences or, or just for sexual reasons like he he even says because that's when it happens that's when you get blindsided by that nipple or these all these women in this limousine with this guy and I guess he was at 14 at one time he's like yo I don't even want to be an actor anymore I'm just gonna be with these women and of course he gets assassinated this guy comes in and he and he, he kills him with, with an arrow because he's like yo this is disgusting pig who only has sex with hookers so that was an interesting part but Mariah is struggling with this man because he says I don't want to be the only one happy and everyone is suffering but then Nasty says you know they have people that is happy because everyone is suffering. So you see the contrasting views there and understand where both of them are coming from. Mariah wants to do it the right way. Even getting into school, Nancy's like, just, just shoot one of the higher ups with an arrow and then you can get into school. He's like, yo, I don't want to do that. And she's like, I remember that girl, you, you know, your, high, your crush or whatever, she goes to school, that's why you want to get in. And Mariah, he's like, he's struggling with it because he wants the simple happiness, the happiness before everything was taken away from him. And Nancy doesn't really understand that. Now, the, the people are going around eliminating the other candidates to be God and we, we haven't it hasn't been specified yet like what what you know what is going to cause you to be the God like what makes a good God it, it, that hasn't been specified I'm sure they're going to get to that basically just you know 13 candidates um, uh, one has been eliminated so right now um, we're just waiting to see what happens but um, I think it makes sense to just eliminate the other candidates it's it kind of turning into fate stay night where it's like you have all these people that going after the same goal eliminate them and and automatically you're kind of the last one standing so you're the only person that can be a god right so that's what's going on and man it's it's, it's good it's good man and it's funny like um how it changed from i believe it was t to uh, mature yeah, because of what happened in this chapter i guess they didn't expect that um you know parental advisory content but it was a good chapter i mean let me know what you thought about platinum and this chapter was definitely a good chapter and i'm really feeling the series and where it's going um, I'm looking forward to the future of Platinum Man. It's, 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 it's been great so far. So again, let me know what you think. Like the video if you did. Subscribe as well. That'd be dope. Have a good day, people.